Hello, everyone, and welcome to our first Channel 781 headlines of 2023. Last Tuesday was the last city council meeting of last year, and it was a packed house with supporters of Waltham Fields Community Farm filling the council chamber and much of the hallway outside. Despite that, the council voted to approve the mayor's plan to limit access to the field station site indefinitely for an environmental cleanup. Leaders of Waltham Fields have said that they've been given very little information about what the plan will mean for the farm, but it appears they'll lose access to much of their current facility, including greenhouses and food producing fields, which could put them out of business. They say they agree the cleanup is necessary, but it's not necessary to shut down so much of the farm to do it. At the meeting, city councilors who spoke in favor of the plan emphasized the importance of the cleanup, but for the most part, they didn't address the effects it would have on the farm. They claim that supporters of the firm had been given misinformation and asked the public to trust that the mayor and council had good intentions for the land. Only five councillors spoke against and voted against the plan. Those were councillors LaCava, Darcy, Dunn, Paz, and Bradley MacArthur. It's not clear what the next step is for the farm, which would normally start selling farm shares and scheduling programs in January. Since then, the city's social media channels posted a survey gauging public interest in creating new community gardens in Waltham, featuring a picture of Waltham Field's current site. We'll take a closer look at all of that on our debrief show. Also at this meeting, a resolution was introduced regarding the proposed solar farm in Lexington on the Waltham line. A number of city officials were requested to come to next committee meeting to discuss the implications for Waltham. So we'll discuss that on our debrief show as well. This year, 2023 is an election year for Waltham. We'll be voting for mayor, city council, and school committee. So this is a good time to think about getting more involved in the community and possibly running for office or helping with the campaign. If you'd like to learn more about any of those things, you're invited to join us for a special live event that Channel 781 will be hosting on Zoom. On January 18th, we'll have a panel of experts, including Councillor Colleen Bradley MacArthur, who beat out a long-serving incumbent to win her seat on the council last year. You can find more info and a link to a sign up on our social media. Public meetings will restart this Wednesday evening, the 4th, when both the school committee and the board of survey and planning will be meeting. The next city council meeting will be on Monday the 9th. And the next thing we post will be our debrief show. So stay tuned. Thank you.